Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bias and Budgeting. It's going down. Hey, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, and this is my husband, Kyle. Hey. And we are going over February's budgeting report, and today is a special day because we have our first beer sponsorship. Tell us a little bit more about it. Okay. That is true, isn't it? Yes. All right, so I met up with a good buddy of mine, Patrick, in New Mexico, and he happens to work for Santa Fe Brewery, and I told him about what Justine does, and he's like, hey, take some beer. So he gave us a six-pack of this lovely beer here called State Pen Porter. Is that coming in focus? There yeah. it is, State Pen Porter. So they have discontinued this beer, so we got it as it's going out of, out of business here. The brewery is not going out of business, just the beer. But it's been nice and cool and cloudy and rainy in San Diego, so this is gonna taste delicious. Uh, I go to their tasting room all the time when I go to New Mexico. They're one of my favorite breweries. It's hard to go wrong with one of some of their beers. I'm not a huge IPA fan, but I love one of their IPAs called 7K IPA. It's pretty darn good. Uh, but the rest of their beers are fabulous. So let's crack these open. Then. And I, I like that you've got like the t-shirt going on yeah. and everything. This is really cool. <laughs> and uh, let's woohoo. Yeah, straight out of the can. Mm. Straight out of the can. Cheers, everybody. I Ooh. really like this beer. Chocolatey. If you are know of any potential beer companies who would like to sponsor, aka give us free product to showcase, <laughs> drop us a comment below and let us know what beer you think we should feature or what company um, we should reach out to because this is super fun and I love mm -hmm. that Santa Fe Brewing was able to hook us up for this month's episode. So thank you, Pat. Yeah, this is really tasty. I'm so sad that it's going away. But good thing is there's plenty of other good beers there to drink. And I see that it was established in 1988 on the can, which is my year of birth. So double kudos right there. Nice. All right. So shall we hop into the budget? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you always react so somber I, when I ask you that. Because we get done drinking the beer and I'm like, oh, this beer is so good. Oh, yeah. We're here to do the budget. Well, let's continue to drink. Take a drink after every line item we go over. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Just kidding. Oh. All right. All right. February budget. I'm looking through it. I see one orange right off the bat on groceries and toiletries by $24. Yep. So we went over just a little bit, which is kind of interesting because February is such a short month, but... But we were way under on alcohol. There, yep. We didn't buy hardly any alcohol. I think also because Valentine's Day, we cooked an at-home meal instead of going out. And so I think that may have upped the groceries a little bit. Yeah. I was getting more specialty stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and we kind of went over gas. We did go over gas, I should say. And we had a $200 car repair. Right, but we've been saving up $20 a month for that. Yeah, it's kind of changed a, a little bit. But if we look back in January, we had $540 in the pot for car repairs. And then we had a $200 car repair. So I just added the $20 from our February ad addition into that like, right, pot. Total. Yeah, and okay. then subtract, subtracted $200 for um, eyesight camera safety feature in our Subaru and Subaru actually hooked us up and the yeah. dealership was actually really nice to work with. Yeah. The guy called the manufacturer himself and was able to negotiate the repairs for us because it was going to be a $2,000 repair and he called and said, this isn't right. They bought this car 18 months ago and so they said, pay a $200 deductible and we'll cover the rest. So very, very thankful that we didn't have to pull from our O-Ship fund for that. Thanks, Subaru. Yeah. Thank you, Subaru. We uh, will be loyal customers, we think. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, we went over on restaurants. Yep, we went over on restaurants by $16. Okay. Not terrible. We did really well on fun money. In fact, I'm thinking fun money needs to be less than $350 a month. Because last month was $250. And this month was $107. So we could change that. Okay. Shopping we did well on. I spent some money on clothing. And I just put $50 towards your clothing fund because you didn't spend any money on clothes for January or last month. So now you have $100. Woohoo. And haircut stuff. I bought Madison Reed hair color. Been testing that out. So I will be making a video on that, guys, to show you how you can save money by doing Madison Reed at home. I'll be posting that later this month. All right. What else? Shall we get down to the future stuff? Well, what was the bottom line at the top? What was the whole, how did we do on the whole month? So we net almost $1,600 for the month. That's pretty good. And I updated our running totals for all of our future money goals, including our down payment, which our original goal was 60 k Now we're going to up that. I almost feel like it needs to be 70 at this point. Yeah, we're not buying a house anytime soon with the way the housing market is, so right. might as well keep throwing money into that or uh, start putting money aside for uh, another car or a new car. Yeah, we talked about maybe opening up a separate savings account for either a second vehicle or a replacement vehicle. Yep. With the idea being we are going to keep our Subaru for at least, what, 10, 10 years? years? So... Can I get my farm truck? No. But I like farm trucks. I like muscle cars. Well, chances are they're both going to be cheap, so we could probably get both. And now we're going to have to look for a three-car garage in San Diego. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> the idea, though, is that we start saving money for a second car now, and if we put $500 a month away now or whatever you can afford now, 300, 200, 100, whatever. For us, it's, we're gonna try and do $500 a month. And at the end of the year, that's $6,000 a year. We do that for four years, that's 24,000, or five years, that's 30,000. And we can pay cash for our next car. So that way we're not having to take out a loan and lose a bunch of money on a loan payment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll work on building that in for next month, otherwise, I had to reschedule how the down payment uh, contributions were structured because I do ha have half of it in an online savings account and the other half in those uh, index funds. So I don't think it went through Vanguard for last month, but I do have it automatically scheduled to be pulled out on the 15th of every month. So 250 into that and 250 into the other savings account. Vacation fund. Looking good. We are at $6,500. I also had spent money on two flights, and I went ahead and transferred the $446 from the vacation fund back into the checking account to pay ourselves. So that's current. Okay. That's what we have today. Yeah, minus those two flights. No, with those two those flights. Those two flights included, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Acorns. Where are we at? Well, we stopped doing our contributions. Hopefully you saw the video on acorns. If you haven't, I'll link to it. Drink break. We have $982.62. Sweet. Okay, where are we transferring this money out of acorns now? I don't know. I say we let it sit there for a year, so that way some of it doesn't be considered a uh, short-term capital gains tax, and if it's in there for a year, then it becomes long-term capital gains tax. It's still gonna grow up, so we're gonna still have some part of it be short-term, but then a majority of it is long-term. We we'll save a lot of money in the long run. We don't need it now. If we need it for like an emergency or something like that, we can pull it out anytime we want. Okay. That's my thoughts. Okay. That's fine. 
Cool. My IRAs are up. They're both up a thousand bucks from January. So I'm happy about that because I did take a big hit in October, November. Yeah. And then the treat yourself budget is 908.22. And the reason why it's 900 plus eight dollars 22 cents is because we made a dollar in dividends by keeping it in the savings account and then seven dollars 22 cents actually came from a uh, ebates check uh -huh. i used to not be a believer in ebates but then i realized how often i was buying like baby gifts wedding gifts christmas gifts everything online and then i realized that i could make a percentage of that cash back so, actually, I kind of like it now. So, if you guys are interested in signing up, I'm not a big... I, I thought Ebates was all about, like, continue shopping, go, 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 like, spin, spin, spin. And it really actually has helped me save money on things that I've already had planned for. Okay. So, I'll drop a link to my affiliate link to sign up if you want to try it. That's cool. All right. And then you had a couple of work trips. So, I keep this separate from the budget because you get reimbursed for the expenses right so i just added in what you paid for in food drink transportation and then i subtracted your per diem checks and then this is what you had left over i.e the money you made off of those trips okay. so you made 247 dollars and then i added that back into as income oh, okay yeah so it's including the sixteen hundred plus that we made. Mm-hmm. Or what the seventy five hundred we made? Yeah. So I had a question here with the surplus, what do we want to do? Start car number two slash replacement car fund? Yeah, I mean five hundred bucks of that should go to the replacement car for sure. Okay. Mm. And then we get to make some choices for March, which is going to be a longer month. And we have a couple of trips planned for March. Yeah, just throw the rest of it in the vacation fund, I guess. I have companion pass this year. I think we already talked about that. So mm -hmm. we're going to start going on our trips and everything. So yeah, let's just throw it in there. And we start booking our flights, for sure. Cool. All right. Easy. Oh, my God. This is like, like the shortest beers and budgeting ever. I know. Unless there's anything else money-wise we want to talk about. I can't think of anything. If we missed anything, throw something in the comments. Absolutely, and I'm so, so excited that I've, we've gotten so many uh, positive feedback on the Beers and Budgeting episodes because I think the whole point of this was to, one, hold ourselves accountable to showing up and doing our budget meetings together, but two, encouraging other couples, or even if you're not married or dating anybody, but encouraging you to do this every single month at the beginning of the month so you can plan forward. Yeah. Try to do something fun with it. Make it a good event. We drink beer while we do it. <laughs> if you didn't know that already. We like it too. Yeah. All right, you guys. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video from us. And I think we're good. Yep. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. If we get a second car, what would you get? Like price tag not... Price tag not included, if we were to get a second vehicle, what would be the, the one you would gravitate towards? Oh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh. Tesla. Well, yeah, if, if, I, if I could get anything, it would be the new Tesla Roadster, but that's, that's a lot more money than I can afford. Does my roommate want to weigh in on this decision? <laughs> I thought you guys were done. <laughs> we're just recording. Yeah. You're just doing some... What would you get? If if budget wasn't an issue, uh, Porsche. Ooh. Boxster. Dang. You guys know, I think I mentioned this before, that uh, we got a roommate, my sister. You want to say hello. I want to say, say hello. Oh, I was just going to touch up my lipstick. <laughs> Hi. That's Julia. It's there. And there's three of us living in this apartment now. Oh, my God. It's a circus. Put it's a tent fun. over this show. <laughs> <laughs>
No, we're actually house hacking, don't you think? Um, what do we're, you mean? we're all saving money this way. Yes. Because you're contributing a little bit to, towards the rent. We're contributing towards the rent. We're all saving money in this way. Yes. I agree. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving quite a bit of money. Because <laughs> living solo in San Diego ain't cheap. But this is a really good way for you to kind of like, because you moved from Kansas City. Yeah. So this is a good way for you to kind of like ease into the cost of living in San Diego. Ease into the cost of living. And also, even when you move to a new city, it's hard to know where you want to be. You know, like what neighborhood do you want to live in? Yeah, the vibe. We did so, that too. Yeah. It's kind of nice to be here first to get a vibe of what areas I would like to to move to so cool unless we live together forever <laughs> sister wives everybody that, mm. well that concludes this episode i'm gonna go drink more beer <laughs> thanks guys see you later i'm gonna go drown myself <laughs>